TV. This is Haley with Basically at Meals and the meal prep course. And right now I'm going to give you three incredible ways to boost your immune system without going on a crazy diet or doing anything really that's out of the ordinary. All of these tips are going to be really simple. You can start doing them right away and they're going to go a long way towards boosting your immunity and um, helping your body get what it needs in order to fight. The immune system is all about reducing inflammation so that it can function properly and do what it needs to do to um, keep your body healthy and safe. So the first thing we're going to work on is an anti-stress protocol. <laughs> that might sound really crazy and really fancy, but it's pretty simple. We're going to break it down to three things. So the first thing is getting some deep breathing. This is something, especially when we're stressed out, we go to those short, shallow breaths, and that does a lot towards putting our body into that fight or flight mode where our immune system isn't really working properly. So if we can get our body a little bit back into that really deep, relaxing state, it's gonna be huge for inflammation and for your immune system. So with the deep breathing, we're just gonna take a couple minutes every day doesn't have to be a ton of time to um, deep, breathe deeply into our belly and really focus on our breath. We focus on the breath going out and the breath coming in and that's pretty much it. It is really that simple. Uh, next, we're gonna make sure that we're getting plenty of sleep and you might be feeling really stressed out. That might be a little bit of a challenge right now. I am gonna give some tips on um, making sure you're getting a nice restful night's sleep. But if you can get eight hours right now, that's gonna be huge towards um, making sure that your body is getting the rest and the rejuvenation that it needs in order to work properly. And lastly, this one should be perfect for what's going on right now. Go for a nice long walk. And I would suggest, you don't have to do this, but I would say take out your ear pods or your earbuds and just kind of have some silence, have, have a nice conversation with yourself, listen to the sounds of nature, um, you know, check in with your body, work on those breaths too. But a nice long walk is so relaxing, it's gonna be incredible for your immune system. And getting outside right now, not instead of just being cooped up with nothing to do, is gonna be incredible for your overall health. So the next thing we're gonna do to boost our immune system is the leafy greens. Did you think you were gonna get out of this without me suggesting leafy greens? <laughs> so whether it's something raw, like you know a nice head of lettuce, spinach, mixed greens, or something that you're gonna cook like broccoli or Brussels sprouts, they're all good. The raw versions are gonna be loaded with vitamin C, which we all know is fantastic for our immune system, and the cooked versions are gonna be super nutrient dense as well. So any of those, dark, leafy, any type of greens that we can get into our system is gonna be fantastic for reducing that inflammation and boosting our immune system. And last but not least, this one's a little bit fun, go in your urban spice cabinet. <laughs> they are all loaded with nutrients and anti-inflammatory properties. So two of my favorites are ginger. This is just ground ginger, it's got a really nice pungent smell. Um, so you can make some tea with this. You can make an Asian dish. It's awesome like in a stir fry, something like that. But ginger is highly anti-inflammatory and it's also fantastic for your immune system. So just some plain ground ginger. You don't have to buy anything special. That's great for your immune system. And then the second one is, I don't know if you already guessed this, but it's turmeric. So this is that really dark orange, um, beautifully colored uh, root that <laughs> has been at the forefront of like every health and nutrition conversation lately. But this is um, highly anti-inflammatory. It's so, so good for you. So I will mix mine up with a little black pepper and kind of take it as a shot with some water. I will mix it with hot water and make a tea out of it. I'll put it into smoothies. I'll mix it into a curry. So there's many ways you can use this, but a little bit extra turmeric right now is gonna go a long way. So thank you so much for joining me for these tips today. It was a pleasure being here and I will see you soon. Bye.